YouTube video on how to install Droidfish app on Android mobile device. Touch the search bar on Google Chrome and search Droidfish. Touch the link that leads to f-droid.org. We will install the F-Droid app first. Think of it as a library holding the book Droidfish. It may take a few moments to download the installation file. When download is finished click on open. Click on install and then open. It may take a while to update the repositories. Once updated, you should be able to search for the Droidfish chess program. Your device may stop you from installing unknown apps, but you can override this. Installation complete. Go to your desktop by pressing this button here. Swipe your screen to the left to find the apps. We can see the Droidfish app, the Bishop icon. This app has built-in Stockfish engine. Let's explore the Droidfish interface. This is the left menu. We'll provide more details in a few moments. This is the right menu. We'll expand on this soon. This is the chessboard, shown in the highlighted area. These are the action buttons. We'll explore this area once we do a few moves. The purple area is the move list. This may not be long, since I'm going to be playing Stockfish. Don't be so harsh on yourself, Tanko T. Who knows, you might last 20 moves. Let's explore the app a bit more. Press the timer icon on the left to bring up the left menu. You can start a new game. Set engine strength. Save or load game using the file option. You can even load a new engine using the manage chess engines option. Close the menu by touching outside the menu area. Touch the timer on the right to bring up the right menu. Here you can resign game, offer draw and even force the engine to move. We will now look at the action buttons. We're going to make a few moves first. To make a move, touch the desired piece, in this example, the E2 pawn. Touch the square you want to move the piece to, in this case the E4 square. Hello there Tanko T. Nice to meet you on Droidfish. Hi Stuckfish. Good luck. Have fun. Stockfish is thinking. Knight f3 appears to be a move that is not within the Droidfish books. We can now see the move list within the purple area. The left arrow allows us to scroll back and see the previous move. Let's do a few examples. The right arrow lets us forward the move list by one. We're gonna do some examples. The book with star icon is the opening book. Pressing it appears to do nothing. Let's move on to the light bulb. This is the analysis button. We can see that I am behind Stockfish because it is a minus score. Roughly minus 0 0.30 in favor of black. Press the light bulb icon the second time to stop analysis. The next option is the two arrows going around in circles. This is the flip chess board button. Moving on to the button with the letter M. 
This is the Select Game Mode button. Here are the options. Let's try the Play Black button so we can take over Stockfish's position. Hold up Tanko T, don't cheat. You might go to chess hell. Thanks for your concern Stockfish. I maintain good ethical and moral standards. This is just for illustration purposes. We'll terminate this game soon. To play a brand new game as Black, go to the left menu by clicking the timer on the left. Select new game then start new game as Black. An alternate way to move a piece, hold down on the piece and drag it to the desire square. In this case E7 pawn to E5. Let's have a good game Tanko T. If you keep training, you might be able to get a draw against me. Thank you for your confidence Stockfish. Let's have a good game. Thank you all for watching. We hope you gained something from this video and support the Tanka T channel by subscribing.